Here we are at the creek. I've geared up and got the Zero Sum 360 with the uh, Mano Kabari. I can see some fish rising over here in this beaver pond. So before I head onto the stream, I'm gonna go over and see if I can hook one of the uh, cutthroat that's uh, rising over here. As you can see, I'm walking slowly and sneaking up. I'm gonna drop to my knees here in a second um, and stay well back from the water's edge and then cast. The line is, um, this particular line is 12 feet and you'll see it reaches out about to the middle of the pond. You probably can't see the line very good, but I missed one right there. So I'm going to recast. see just up there to the left is a nice pool. That's where I'm going to target in the next cast. Let's see if I can take a fish out of there. Another cast and the fish takes it. If you watch closely you can actually see where my fly hit the water. This uh, is another cutthroat and it was about maybe 10 inches long. casting over some willows to try to stay behind some cover and uh, that gets me this little guy and then I'm going to walk up the stream and stand at the base of a beaver dam which is about four feet tall and cast over and take some fish in that same first pool that I was fishing but here I'm below the actual beaver dam. So there's the beaver dam itself and uh, I'm going to cast right out in there and hook into a fish.
here's the upper reaches of that uh, beaver pond with the stream actually coming in. I, I hooked a really nice fish in here, but he got off. So unfortunately, I couldn't show him to you, but uh, make a cast and uh, hook into another little cutthroat. They're not much in size, but they are enthusiastic and energetic. This is further up the creek, um, shallows out, uh, but the fish are sitting in surprisingly shallow water and uh, you have to get the fly um, just in front of the, or alongside of these weeds and you usually can pick up a fish or two. In this pool, I'm able to pull out a number of fish. This was the best one. He's about a little bit over 12 inches, I would guess, but uh, he shoots up and tries to get underneath that tree. And here he shoots underneath the bank to the left, and I lose him as he uh, gets into some of the snags. Uh, but he was a much better sized fish. But you'll see here, I'm gonna get some more um, out of this exact same pool. Here's a, a really nice uh, cutthroat, about 12 inches, um, much better fish. And that's it for today.